Okay, so what do we have here? Well, what we have here is a very boring, probably 10 minute long video that you're not going to want to watch. It's antique binoculars that I'm selling. So all this is is a general video showing them because I'm selling them and selling them dirt cheap because I need to get rid of them. I need to clear up some space. So these are left over from antique shows. I'll start with the smallest pair here, which is, I'm guessing, the oldest pair. Okay, so... That is the brand name. Dirty. Very dirty. And I don't know if there's any other markings on them. Very, very light. Uh, as I know, they do work. Lenses need to be cleaned up, of course. Looks like it's made very cheap. This is the case. There's a label on it. And uh, I don't think that's original case because I don't see them fitting in that case. It only closes up to about there, unless there used to be a strap in between. But yeah, then there'd still be a gap there, so probably not. So that's not the right case. Uh, again, made real flimsy, so I don't know if they're antique or if they're just generic reproductions or something. Who knows? Okay, start with the next one. strap is broken. Actually, I think this one's broken in general, if I remember right. Lens caps. Second here. Okay. Was this the broken one? Nope. Try to zoom in on the model numbers. Are any markings on them? Just give me a second here. Have to unwrap them. Now, I've done no research whatsoever on any of these. I have no idea what they're worth. You know, some of them can get fairly expensive, but as far as I can see, I'm guessing these are just cheapies. So, uh, and of course, people acting like an idiot downstairs. So, I know one of them had a crack somewhere, and this is not it. Nope, everything looks good. Uh, cap's a little bit loose. I guess it tightened up, so... Nope, got it in mind. It's just loose. It tightened up. So everything looks to be good on this one. Uh, try to get a picture of each of them after, maybe. So, oh, made in Japan. On the case. And it's actually stamped in there. Why are all these have purple cases? Like, what the hell? That one's purple, this one's purple. I think that one's purple. This is the broken one now that I remember. So this is a heavy one. Uh, again, I'm not too sure how old it is. <sighs> one time I had about 20 pairs of binoculars. Now I'm down to about 10. No, probably actually, well, there's four here. Plus, yeah, probably about 10 pairs. Another set of lens caps. These ones stay with that. And I prefer not to separate this. I prefer to sell them all as one lot. Uh, someone has some writing on there. Not sure what that means. Someone, I guess, put their address on there just for whatever. In case they lose them. Uh, I know this is a pretty heavy-duty pair. It's hard to say the actual size of those. Look at my hand. It's a big pair. And uh, these ones actually I remember trying to use. Uh, still markings on that side. Markings on this side. Uh, dogs going nuts downstairs. But if I remember right, this pair here, everything was good on it. I don't remember there being anything wrong with it. Nope. Is that glass cracked in there? Uh, nope, because it's like that on this side. Oh, there is a chip. Not sure if you can see it, but it looks like a chip out of one of the glass inside there. I'm not sure if that's just uh, dirt. So it'd probably need to be taken apart, cleaned. Again, they're just being sold for whatever reason. Wall hangers. Oh, what's that? Made in Japan. There we go. But that's a pretty big set. 
for now I'll just put these down there. Drums caps there. Ooh, that one's kind of red, it's not purple. Huh. This is an actually interesting pair. Uh, nothing fancy for the case, I don't think it's the original case for them. Caps. This pair is broken, but they're Zoom, which I know some of the Zoom ones were originally very expensive. Feather <laughs> or light, light. Hmm. Japan. That doesn't support me. Or it doesn't uh, surprise me. You know, this looks pretty trippy looking through there. And these are the broken pair. It's kind of sad, but right in front of my thumb, you can see right there where it's cracked. So I'm sure that could be glued. I don't think it's aluminum. Not too sure what it's made out of. See on this side here too. I knew there is one broken pair. So I'm sure it could be cleaned up and glued. And quality control past sticker, so that means it's made in uh, 85 or newer, I believe that was, that they started using those stickers. But there's another model number right there, if I can queer or zoom in on it. Okay, well, and of course this case... Uh, nothing written on it it's just a cheap piece of crap case but anyway that's the end of this extremely boring video and again I'm taking offers on the entire lot uh, to make it worth my time just because of the size of it I'd have to get a minimum offer of like fifty dollars fifty bucks and that'd be shipped in Canada of course the states would take quite a bit more money in shipping so and even at fifty bucks after shipping I'm making virtually nothing <laughs> I'm losing on these deals. So, okay, so that's the end of this.